sound so good until they aren't, and that applies to how we work as well. Japanese staff need to create some new habits, and as the boss, it is our job to help them create better work habits. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to year six of the Cutting Edge Japan to the show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie, Tokyo training, and three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaigyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My latest book is. Stop wasting money on training. And the Japanese title is Training de Okane o Budani Suno wa Yamemasho. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center here in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 273, The Relaxing Leader. So let's get going. In 2017, METI, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and the peak industry body, the Keidai Run, the Japan Business Federation, and the Japan Chamber of Commerce and Industry, launched their Premium Friday campaign, encouraging firms to allow their workers to depart early on the last Friday of each month. Approximately 70% of the Japanese economy is based on domestic consumption. And the idea is to give consumers more time to consume, thus stimulating the economy. All good stuff. Although it hasn't really worked, but there is a deeper problem for companies than more consuming. Parkinson's law that work expands to fill the time available for its completion fits Japan perfectly. The very long hours spent in work in Japan are producing work at a relatively glacial pace. There is a surprisingly slow rhythm here in white collar work. If you want to see work being done at a fast clip, then look at the manufacturers' factories and the construction industry. Big city office workers, though, are a different breed. There was some respite thanks to remote work, but people are flooding back to the office, so the same old problems are still there. They spend long hours commuting during the peak times. Why? They need to live far away to have affordable accommodation, and they can't get up any earlier to miss the crowds because they are staying up so late every evening. Now, we have a constant rhythm in operation. Go to bed late, get up without enough sleep, so automatically feel tired, struggle through the morning commute, and arrive at the office exhausted. Leave the office very late every evening. Repeat every working day of your entire miserable working life. This is the brain era. We have the fastest communication technology in history available to us. We have total connectivity. So we are plugged into everything. Speed and mental sharpness should be our forte, but often it is not. People seem unable to turn work around speedily. They're tired, so the work speed has slipped into a cycle of slow execution. Tired people are rarely creative or enjoy great acuity. Every other firm is the same, so nothing seems out of the norm here. If you come from a different country, then you see the speed factor is much slower here. Supreme caution around mistakes does slow down the decision-making process. This and the tiredness slows down the execution. The upshot is things take longer to get done here. On a positive note, things get done here without as much rework due to better attention to detail. Mistakes can be common in our countries. Wouldn't it be brilliant though if we could take that Japanese attention to detail and speed everything up 
a bit and get the best of both worlds. Sadly, this hasn't happened organically and it won't happen by itself. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. To get better speed, we need to change the pace of the work from the current slow state to a faster cycle. Parkinson's study showed that the more time we allow for working, the staff will have no trouble filling up the hours. Japanese societal work pride is attached to input of hours, not speed of output. The issue, though, is the same amount of productivity could be achieved in less hours. If we can get to this point, then people can go home early. They can spend time on hobbies with families and friends, go shopping, go out eating, etc. This would have a lot more impact than a couple of hours once a month on the premium Friday. Setting the finishing time early is a good idea. For most office workers, why does anyone have to work past 6 p.m.? Making people apply first and justify the need for overtime is also a way to monitor work productivity. You can substantially boost your income by working overtime in Japan. So that is a natural stimulant to working long hours. As the boss, you put boundaries around how much time is needed to produce the same amount of work. This will positively impact the work pace. On the flip side though, we need to help our people to relax. Just forcing them into a work hyper-accelerated tube may blow them up unless the lifestyle changes accompany the process. In my observation, Japanese are not much good at relaxing. I'm an Aussie, we're experts at relaxing. Japanese are reluctant to take long vacations still, so they never get that longitudinal benefit of time off. Culturally, they have trouble slowing down. I remember seeing Japanese on holiday in Australia. They don't go swimming in the surf or lie on the gorgeous golden beaches and relax. Uh, they take a photograph together with everyone flashing the peace sign and with the beach in the background. Then they head off to the next location to repeat the same process all day. They get tired, so they sleep on the bus or train and then they don't see any of the scenery. They come back to work exhausted from the holiday. We need to be the relaxed boss and encourage them to take more time off, to really slow down and relax, to recharge. Getting away from work is necessary to think afresh about what you are doing. This simple thing still eludes most Japanese. Taking two or three weeks off in a row should be seen as a good thing, not some traitorous misdemeanor. Why are we at work though? Let's work like legends punch it out and then go home. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe to it on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now. dale-carnegie.co.jp It's awesome value so check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, 
We're releasing content six days a week. By the way, how many companies, let alone training companies in Japan, are doing that, do you suppose? Answer, just one. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training. Now, for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentation Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in the Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Supro Podcast Show. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcasts. For TV shows, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support, and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people, and please join us in that endeavor. Our training mantra is we are 100% committed to using our soft skills training to transform your career and business. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training are in your corner here in Nippon. In episode number 274, we're talking about speaking chances are the game changer. So, Yoroshiku, onegai itashimasu. Please join me. For the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, we are here to help you, and we have only one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.